Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and um, you know me for a lot of videos on the internet about UAPAT. I did a video with um, 800, more than 800 answers for uh, for your uh, questions on UAPAT with the response exactly in YouTube where you have the second of the movie where you have the answer for this. But on this normal video, I share with you XAML file that you have to put it on the um, on your PC. Or I can share you a, a XAML file with um, uh, with an Excel and you can edit and do all the stuff. But I find another alternative to do this. So instead uh, to store all the data there on the on the XAML file or on the Excel file, you can store all the data on the um, uh, data service. And the idea with the data service is that um, you have an admin that will filter the data, will put the data on the data service. And on the other side, you just have a robot that will be on all your uh, part of or all the developers that um, will use the uh, the system and uh, they will be uh, they, they will be updated all the time with uh, data about new videos and new features that um, uh, admin add to this data service so with this data service you are able to <coughs> to update very fast information for all the uh, all the all the teams that use this robot so to be able to use this data service, I will use the UiPath in my case, the UiPath version 2022.10.4. Yeah. My robot will be connected. So here the connection is uh, on the um, orchestrator with the URL and with uh, my account, like this. And with these tools, I'm able to use the data service. Now, here I create a data table. So you can create an entity. Let's create one for test, YouTube test. You see, I misspell YouTube. Okay. And if I say YouTube, is two results on the first page. And this is my entity, yeah? So if I want to create a field, I will say here, category, and I will create a field. I will create an another field that will be, uh, let's say, um, movie ID. I can say that this is mandatory. Uh, then I can put the maximum length. I can put the default. I can put the description, uh, desk, let's say, movie description movie uh, and if i say here description movie i will um, you see here you'll have the description and so on. so i will create the category let's go back and let's see on my um so on my youtube uh, um, uh, video on the on on the element that um, uh, i already created let's see what i have so i will have the category i will have the movie id i will have the questions i will have the seconds and these are stuff created automatically by, by the system, yeah? Good. Here I already have filled data. And you see the data will be like this. I will show you also the way how I fill the data. So we'll go back to UiPath Studio. And on UiPath Studio, in my project, uh, I go basically on the project that I have with... Uh, um, project that I uh, that I have with um, uh, answer with uh, Excel. So where I share you the Excel database and so on, I, you will find these projects on the GitHub. So also these two projects, I will put it on the GitHub. And on the GitHub here, you will find the, the project with the zip and I will put also the projects for, uh, for this stuff with uh, uh, data, uh, data service. Yeah? So I will add the project to add data to data service and the project to use the data from data service. So um, to be able to add data to data service, I will explain what I did. So I go to Excel, I take all the sheets from the Excel. So if you remember, this Excel has multiple categories and inside of the categories, uh, basically you have the um, 
inside of categories, you have movies with uh, all data, yeah? So the system will take all the sheets, will take the name of the sheets, and then we'll add the, uh, uh, um, uh, we'll add the, the, the movie ID, the question, and the second. So to be able to achieve this, I go to Excel, I will go and get all the sheets, then I will make a list with the sheets, then I will make an, um, a for each. Um, this, for, uh, for each uh, this for each, I will go inside of each sheet, and inside of each sheet, I will read the, uh, the data, yeah? Then I will do a for each on the data table, and I will add the, um, the movie ID, the category, the category is the name of the sheet, the question, and the second. With this multiple assign, and on this multiple assign, I have a variable that is, it's called a variable, uh, so uh, this variable, it's uh, YouTube. So you see this variable type, it's YouTube. And I initialize this variable as new, um, uh, new answer Excel YouTube. Let's understand how we use this data um, um, data entry. So if I will create a new project here, uh, let's create a new project on UiPath Studio to understand how I will use this um, uh, data entry. Because here I already use it, but I want you to show you to show you all the steps how to use the uh, uh, this data service. Yeah. So to be able to uh, to use all this stuff. Let's create, for example, a new project here, a new process, test data entry. After we do this, um, uh, uh, this stuff with test data entry, I will go here and I will use this manage entities, yeah? So remember, my robot should be connected to the um, orchestrator via so the robot should be connected to the orchestrator uh, um, via URL service and sign. In this mode, you'll be able to, to use data service, yeah? So the UiPath Studio will take this connection. Here inside of um, uh, um, UiPath Studio, you have manage entities, and you have here, you can see that I have the uh, YouTube entity, my entity, yeah? Okay, so let's save this one. And here are entities, I have my entity YouTube. Now, if I want to add some data, you see that the system will ask me to install the data service package. Yeah? So I will go and hit install. And I will put the data service package. After I install the data service package, after I install the data, uh, data service package, I will be able to access the, the activities from data service. And I will show you how to create for this one, yeah? So I will say create. Create entity, yeah? So let's take a project here. And I will drag and drop this create entity record. Now, here I want to put something that only it was on my entity. So I have to select my entity here on the list. You can see that here you have data service test date is the name of my project. And here on this one, I will go and select YouTube. YouTube was my format of the data table. Now, to be able to insert a record here, I have to create a variable of this record, yeah? So to be able to create a variable of this record, I will go here on the variables. I will define a variable, var1. And this variable will be type um, test date YouTube, yeah? And here to initialize this one, I will say new test date YouTube. You see that the system knows already all this type of variables and so on, yeah? So in this way, I create my variable. And then I will assign my variable here. So variable one. Now, to be able to populate this variable, I will have a multi-assign, like another part, where I will say, 
Variable 1. Category. Variable uh, variable 1. What do we want? Movie ID. Variable 1. Um, seconds. And variable 1 question. And here you'll put some values, and in this way we are able to uh, uh, to add data to the uh, uh, to data service. Yeah. So these are the steps. Remember to connect the robot, to use the manage entities, then add, the, add all the stuff here, and then select your entity, and then you are be able install the package, and then you are able to create entities. So. Let's come back to the, uh, uh, not this one. Let's come back to the main project. And on the main project, you see here that I have on this for each on the data table, I have create entity. I have YouTube, answer Excel YouTube. I have my variable. And this allow me to add data to the uh, data service. In my case, I already have the data here. You can see that I have around 920 elements. Good. So this is the way how you add data to data service. But I want also a way to get data. So the main logic of this uh, uh, of this um, video is to, to have the robot to be able to work with data service. Like I said, the admin will put the data here on the, on the orchestrator and all the people that use the uh, UiPath robots, UiPath assistants, will have access to the newest data inside of the system. So to be able to build a robot that will access this data service, we'll do this. I would go and say a query. So I will make a query on the um, answer Excel. And this query uh, will be uh, with no limit. I will get all the data because I want first to get the categories. Yeah, so I will make a query and this will create a list. This output list, it's a list that it's on um, uh, YouTube. So he, when I say create, you will create an I list with a YouTube um, type. Then I will create an all category and then I will search on the categories. And I will see when the, the old category is, uh, is different from the new category. You see, this, these are uh, um, so uh, these are inserted uh, category by category. So to be able to extract only the categories, I have to go all the data and I have to find the unique categories. So in this way, I will extract the unique categories. And the unique categories, I will add to a list. So I have here a list of string. Uh, I have a list of string, and uh, this list of string, uh, it's uh, used for storing all the categories. Yeah. So I will add this collection. So I will say append to collection, and um, this will return. Be careful on the new type of uh, systems where you have to append to item collection. You have to put the list. You have to put the element, and then you as a result you have to return the list, because you can return this on another variable. But if it's a same variable, you need to um, to specify this. Good. So I build a list. Then I will make a for each on the list, and I will build the data in format for the input dialog. Remember that we have an input dialog from where the people is able to select the category. Next, I will search for the category that. So I will go again on the data um, service, and I will search for the category that um, a user selected. And this will return me another list. And then I will build another string for the input dialog to uh, start uh, for the input dialog to show what are the questions from that category. And then on the end, I will do another search with the category and the question. And I will return the answer on the screen. And I will return you them exactly the video where you have this one. So if I run this file, If I run this file, you will see that the robot will do the same steps like the old video. But now all the data is from the, um, so all the data is from the um, data service, yeah? So if I have 100 people that use this type of automation, that mean will just add data to the data service. And in this way, all the people will have the new data about movies. So you see, 
The system open a uh, video from Marcelo where show you how to log in to SAP. Yeah, so exactly on the point with the, with the procedure for uh, logging on SAP. Okay, good. So that's the idea how to work with um, uh, with data service. So the same, I will put these two files. I will put it on my GitHub. So I will put it on the description of the movie. I'll put these uh, two files on, on the GitHub on the description of the movie, and you are able to download these files. And remember to be able to work with data service. You have to create data service. You have to talk with your admin to be able to create a field here. Yeah, so on the entities you are able, you need to create an entity. Then you create the entity, you create a category on the entity. Be sure that you have uh, the UiPath Studio. In my case, it's working with this one. Be sure that you have the latest version. In my case, 2020.10.4. And um, be sure that you connect your robot um, to the orchestrator using the um, using the authentication. Yeah. So not using the machine ID. And in this way, you are able to use the data service and be able to work with this one. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel and tell me what else you want to see inside of my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Stay safe.